Um, you know, and now after becoming born again, I just thought I would go to church, sit in a pew, put some money in a bucket, sing some songs. I would even raise my hands and, and do the holy roller thing. And uh, God said, no, I got more for you. I prayed a real simple prayer one day. I just said, God, whatever you have in store for me, I need you to show me. I said, I need to know what my life has in store for me. I said, I can't do this walk with you without it. And uh, he started showing me in dreams and visions about me being an evangelist, about me walking in the John the Baptist kind of footsteps and, and literally just preaching that Jesus is coming. That not that Jesus is here, he's here, but that he's coming again. And that was what I was supposed to do. So I've started doing this evangelism thing a few years ago, speaking at different churches, doing different things. Um, you know, I've gotten to meet some really cool people like the guys from, from Corn. I got to meet Bri or Brian Head Welch. I got to meet Fieldy. Um, I got to ha actually hang out backstage with them in Hoshkosh, Wisconsin. We got to be on their tour bus and hang out. And Todd White called and prayed for us all. And, and uh, Brian and Fieldy had me pray before they actually went out on stage. We were on the stage, but before they actually went out to play, they asked me to pray for them. And, and I got to pray for them. And, and actually some of the guys from the whole crew came in. And even uh, I think the drummer and stuff all came out onto the stage and asked them, they wanted me to pray with them, uh, which I thought was kind of weird because I'm not much different than they are, but they wanted me to pray for them. So, so I prayed for them. And then um, I talked with Brian a few weeks after that. And he said that that day hanging out with me, since that day, they've had more people come to know Christ in their lives, in the, in the two of their lives than they ever have in their entire life. And the cool thing is, is we didn't do anything special. It was just us hanging out and talking about, about our passions and our, and our lives. And, and it wasn't, it wasn't we were, I wasn't preaching to them. They weren't preaching to me. It was just, we were just sitting around talking like friends would. And uh, something happened that night. Even Brian, Brian Head Welch himself said, something happened that night, dude. He said, I, I can't put my finger on it, but something happened. And, and he said, because he said, he said, in all the years on the tours that he's been on since he's been born again, he's never seen in just the few months from July to August, he's never seen that many people come to know Christ as they were talking and preaching at people. And, uh, you know, and I got to meet Brian. I got to meet him at a, at a concert. It was a Christian festival, actually. And uh, the first time he saw me, you know, he he yelled across the hotel and he said, holy moly, man. He said, finally, someone more tattooed than me at one of these things. And, uh, you know, we hung out and we talked and, and uh, he actually had told me, he said, you know, you're supposed to go back to those places you once were. And I said, could you, could I take a video of you saying that? Because most churches and pastors aren't going to allow me into the places where I once was. Because I hung out in strip clubs and, and bars and, and with bikers. And I mean, I went to, I hung out with the worst of the worst. And, and now here's, I mean, God had told me before Brian did that, but Brian just reaffirmed it for me. So, so that's what, that's what I'm called to do. I'm called to go into the places that most pastors won't go into. And even most evangelists won't, won't walk up to on the street. I'm called to go into those places and, and, uh, do that kind of thing.